Legend has it that the most beautiful woman in Chinese history, the ancient concubine, and I'm sorry if I'm going to butcher her name here, but not fluent in Chinese, Yang Kui Fei, used silver ear mushroom as part of her skincare routine? Well, I didn't either, but what I know is that the inky list snow mushroom claims to use the same. Hi, I'm Dr. Anne. I'm a medical doctor with a passion for skincare that works. On this channel, we explore the science behind skin and do quick reviews, so you learn to pick exactly those products that work for your individual skin concern. If this is something you're interested in, please consider subscribing and ring the notification bell. I don't know about you, but legend like this gets me all the time. So I really wanted to know if the Inkless Snow Mushroom lives up to its claims. And to find out, let's have a look at what the Inkless has to say first. Renowned in Asia for its ability to boost skin's hydration levels, Snow Mushroom isn't as new as we think. Also known as Tremella fuciformis, the Inkilis Snow Mushroom Moisturizer is a must-try thanks to the hero ingredient's gelatinous structure and high levels of polysaccharide molecules, which puts it in competition with your favorite hero ingredient, hyaluronic acid. While hyaluronic acid can hold up to 1000 times its weight in water, Snow Mushroom can hold up to 5 times that, but it also has smaller molecule particles, meaning Snow Mushroom can penetrate skin easily, quicker, and without any unwanted irritation. A multitasker, this hero ingredient also has soothing anti-inflammatory benefits too that can aid collagen protection for a visibly plumper and healthier complexion. Well, doesn't that sound great? And the first thing I can tell you is, yeah, it really has a gelatin structure. This is more of a gel than it is a moisturizer. And the second thing that I can tell you, and that's really great, is that this is not tacky at all. Many hydrating serums have a tendency to leave a tackiness on my skin, but this one is just applied, sinks in easily, and yeah, it's already almost gone, no tackiness. It's perfect lightweight hydration. There's also no noticeable scent, so yeah, just smells like nothing. Another thing that I noticed, and that is something that I think comes in handy, because despite being called a moisturizer, I think this is more of a serum step, is that it pairs well with everything. I've applied sunscreen, other creams, face oils, everything on top, and there's no peeling. It just sinks in. Despite Tremella Fuciformis lending its name to the product, its extract is actually present in less than 1% concentration. The main humectants in this formula are butyl and glycol and glycerin. There are absolutely no corrosives in this formula, very few emollients, which explains the lightweight texture. And not mentioned in the claims, but something that I think you might be interested in, is it contains Madecasosid, which is part of Centella Asiatica, known for soothing and collagen stimulating properties. The fact that it contains basically any emollients and no occlusives, but quite a few humectants, is why I don't think that moisturizer is really the correct description for this one. This is a really hydrating step, and if you have really oily skin and it's the summertime, I think you can get away with using it as last step in your skincare routine before sunscreen. But for the winter or for a normal to dry skin types, I think this works much better as a hydrating serum. And because you need hydration all day long, this one is of course suitable for morning and nighttime. If I were to compare this one to the Inkylist Hyaluronic Acid Serum, this one has more of a gel texture, whereas the Hyaluronic Serum is more of a watery texture. Both are very lightweight, both sink in immediately without any tackiness. Both feature the same main humectants, which is glycerin and butyl and glycol, then topped up with snow mushroom in this one and topped up with low molecular hyaluronic acid in the hyaluronic acid serum. This one has Madecasosid, the Inculus hyaluronic acid serum has peptides as added bonus ingredient, so I think it depends what you want. I like both of them and to be honest I don't really notice a difference in hydration when I apply them split face to my skin. So if you ask me if this is worth your money, that depends. Basically I think yes because it does not cost a lot of money and it's versatile. If you have normal to dry skin or have oily skin in the winter time you can use this one as a serum that plays well with others. Hydration is something that basically everyone needs so you should get some use out of it. Just don't be distracted by the moisturizer in the name. Use it wherever it fits into your routine. And with that being said, I'm going to link to more of the Inkylist videos on the screen here and going to see you all very soon with another video. Bye!